Hello everyone, this is Rohini and today I will be sharing with you all the fifth and the final basic breathing technique called yogic breathing. Now yogic breathing is a combination of the previous three breathing techniques which is abdominal breathing, thoracic breathing and clavicular breathing. If you have missed it, please I request you all to go back to my previous videos and check them out otherwise you will get super duper confused and I have titled them their names so you can spot them easily. Now this particular breathing, yogic breathing is done in order to maximize the inhalations and exhalations in the body. So inhalations when they are maximized you can take in more oxygen deeply, you can do more deep breathing and take in more oxygen and when you, ex uh, when you maximize exhalation then you are able to to expel more carbon dioxide which is harmful for your system out of your system now a little disclaimer here guys even though this breathing is good has many benefits can increase your oxygen intake will increase your oxygen intake and it is done to even to correct poor breathing habits still it is an exercise it's an exercise guys you don't want to do this 24 7 so you don't want to make this a habit uh, in your day-to-day -day routine you just want to dedicate five to ten minutes every day to this particular breathing technique because it is an exercise guys so having said that we have to get get on with the practice but before that I have something here to show you you know being a teacher it helps me to explain my students clearly what they are getting into and what they are doing so I have an empty glass here and I have a glass filled with water here this empty glass or these two glasses represent your breathing muscles or breathing parts which is the bottom represents your stomach here the middle section represents your chest and the top section represents your clavicle bone so this is your abdominal breathing this is your thoracic breathing and from here you're doing your uh, clavicular breathing now once you're clear which part of the glass represents which part now we know this is con connected to our body we want to take the water uh, as as air okay so water is the air which is freely available which we are breathing in so now what we're going to do is we're going to fill the water in this glass so which part as I begin to fill slowly which part of the glass fills first and the next and the next you have to observe that and watch that so this is your stomach you will see that the stomach fills first then the chest fills and then the thoracic uh, sorry then the clavicular which is collarbone fills first this is your inhalation so we're going to begin to inhale so I'm inhaling my stomach is filling first and now I'm going to my chest and then comes my clavicle bone I have breathed I have breathed I have breathed the air up to my collarbone now I'm going to exhale now same glass, this glass is now representing exhalation because it is filled with water, guys. So this, you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you filled your body, you filled your stomach, your chest and up to your collarbone with air. Now you have to exhale, right? So you're going to exhale. Now see which part gets emptied first. Remember in inhalation, the bottom got filled first, then the middle and then the top. Now when we exhale, it's the reverse. The top gets emptied first and you're going to see it in a moment. Now see. I'm filling. I'm going to stop here. See which section got emptied. Forget about this glass. Look at this glass. The top got emptied first. Now chest. The chest and the bottom which is your belly still has uh, still has air inside. So I'm going to empty that as well with exhalation. I'm going to empty the lungs now. Okay and I'll stop here. See the bottom is filled. Okay so now I'm going to empty the bottom as well which is the stomach. And there you go. So now you know that when you inhale, your stomach first expands, bloats. The diaphragm obviously is connected with your inhale, with your abdominal breathing. So the diaphragm pushes down. Then the chest expands and then the collarbone. And when you exhale, it's the reverse order. You don't have to first empty the abdomen. You have to first empty this part, which is your clavicle bone. Then thoracic breathing. Then you have to uh, exhale and, and empty your lungs. And then... You have to empty your belly then the belly goes inside now uh, let's get started with the practice without any further ado guys you want to uh, you you can sit down or you can even do this in a lying down position okay follow the instructions carefully I will be showing it to you in a seated position I'm going to inhale deeply and I'm going to first uh, expand my uh, bloat my stomach so inhale I'm going to first do abdominal breathing then I'm going to do this 
and then I'm going to do exhale. First, so now you have to do this for five to ten rounds or five to ten minutes every day. I'm going to show this again, but before I uh, move on to the second round, I want you to make a quick note of this fact that the tr there is the transition from your abdominal breathing to your thoracic breathing, to your clavicular, br clavicular breathing because now you're transitioning. Now you're incorporating the three basic breathing techniques here. They are happening together. Not really together, but one after the other. But the transition is going to be very smooth. There shouldn't be any abrupt movements or any pauses or any stops or any halts. So when you do abdominal breathing, you don't want to halt after bloating your navel and then start expanding your lungs and ribcage and then halt and then again you, you up, go up to your brim and then halt. You don't want to do any halts. You don't want to do any pauses, any stops. The person watching you doing this breathing should feel smooth. It should be smooth. The transition, if you have to merge. The transition should be very smooth and you have to merge from abdominal breathing to ribcage breathing to collar breathing. And then you have to go down in the same smooth manner. There shouldn't be any abrupt movements. There shouldn't be any pauses. There shouldn't be any jerks. Okay, so I'm going to show this to you again. I'm going to first start with abdominal. Okay guys, so this is how you have to do this. Now one more thing, when you inhale slowly and deeply, you come up to your collarbone and then when you begin to exhale and you exhale completely, after the exhalation you want to hold the breath outside for a few seconds, maybe 3 seconds, 5 seconds, that's called Bahir Kumbhak, external breath retention. So you have to do external breath retention here and then you can do normal breathing and then you can come back again because you have to do this 5 to 10 rounds of 5 to 10 minutes. Okay, so once again inhale. And then you breathe normally okay so this is very simple very easy and very very effective especially when you do it in a lying down position you'll feel really nice you'll feel really relaxed it helps to calm your nerves down also guys remember that when you lift your uh, uh, shoulders up it's an indication that you have uh, taking the breath in up to your collarbone now after practicing practicing this for a while you want to you want to take the clavicular breathing out of the COP breathing technique and you want to stick to only two which is your abdominal breathing and ribcage breathing, thoracic breathing. So when you inhale, you bloat your navel first obviously and then you expand your lungs, your ribs and then you don't, you don't lift your shoulders up and you don't go up till here. You just expand your lower and middle lungs fully of course and then you relax your lungs and then you can pull your navel in. So you're not, you're not really lifting your shoulders up because you're cutting the clavicular breathing out of this technique. This you have to do after some time. So you practice uh, with three basic breathing techniques up to the clavicle breathing for a while, maybe for three or four sessions. And then after that, you want to stick to, on a daily routine, you want to stick to abdominal and thoracic breathing. Only combine these two breathing techniques. 
And like I said, once again, guys, even though it is amazing, you want to you want to treat it as an exercise. Do it for five to ten minutes every day. What you have to take care of is your posture. Make sure your posture is correct. If your posture is correct, your breathing will automatically be in place. If your posture is not right, then obviously you will have poor breathing. You will develop poor breathing habits. So this helps to uh, take care of poor breathing habits. But you have to treat it as an exercise. Do it for five to ten minutes every day. If there are any questions. Please do ask me. I request you all to please come up and ask me if you if you have any kind of questions. I'll be very very happy and delighted to answer them. So thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for my future videos and thank you very much. Goodbye.